All right, so in Legacy and Legacy Evolution, we are getting not only a Volv Canicus, but it's heavy room we are getting a Dino King, which is great. That's a core class, which is okay. Then we have the figures, and I have concerns. Evolution Legacy Core Class Grimlock today under other reviews. Now, Grimlock being a bit odd is nothing new. Because there was the Energon Combiner, which was not great. There was the Combiner Wars version, which was bizarre. There's even the Cyberclat, Cyberverse, sorry, version, which was, well, it was really more of a very large toy that just happened to look like the aggregate of Volcanicus, which is okay. Then we get to Grimlock in the core class here, and, well, I'm going to be honest, he thick, which is words I never thought I never wanted to say about Grimlock. <clears throat> now as for the figure itself in dino mode, yeah, it has, it's got movable legs and a tilting head, but that's problematic because, well, the dino wood head turning is really more for the uh, combined mode. And uh, the legs, well, they have no knees, which for core class, okay. But as you can probably guess, these become the arms, which are an issue later. And yeah, all of this. <clears throat> no articulation for the leg, well, for the arms, rather. And for weapon, you have the tip of the tail, which becomes this... Uh, Something or something again? Which is at least something. Now we'll get into the robot mode itself, where things get marginally improved. Take off the tail tip here, unpeg this front fold down for the legs. Now the, the legs slash arms do go forward, but that's more for the combined mode. Twist the wrists for the arms. Um, pick the legs, fold up these, and just kind of fold all this back. Put all this in his hand, or just put the gun in his hand, and uh, Grimlock robot mode. And yeah, all the classic test tenements for uh, Grimlock are there. A, a dark card head, gold chest. So seeing it all in gray instead of silver is a bit of a bummer, but they do what they can. Which isn't much these days sometimes, especially when growing paint, but whatever, yeah. But he always seems to have some sort of chunk on the back of his alt mode. At least they did it in a way that makes it look like he still has the wings. So, effort there. Moving on to articulation here, the head does rotate. Arms are on a ball joint. Uh, they also have this uh, forward moving joint, but that's for the combined mode. Wrists do rotate, nothing in the elbows. So now waist swivel, ball jointed hip, and ball jointed knees with a uh, preset tilt. So there is articulation to be had, but not much. <clears throat> okay, now we'll get into combined mode. Now, due to the fact that this will also be Dino King, uh, Grimlock here, instead of becoming like the upper torso, becomes a leg, which is odd, but... That's the way they did it, so that's the way they're following suit. Okay, and we've already got the tail tip turned off. We will connect the f this part right here, twist this, and bring both arms like this, connect to here. And already we got a little bit of something weird going on. Fold out these again, t up the head, unfold down. Now, now, you have to twist one of the uh, body halves this way and then fold upwards because that's seemingly how the connection works. Okay, I'm guessing it's more like that. I imagine this will make a little more sense okay, mm -hmm. when it's actually all together, but right now this is just a little odd. I'll just, okay. 
Maybe like... Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, go something like that. Again, once I have all the... enough of the uh, components, I'll probably make more sense, but... that is just a little strange. But... Since it is part of Dino King, I imagine it's how it goes. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Turns out this tab needs to connect into here for that to work. Which is still incredibly bizarre. <clears throat> Alrighty, so... I have to put this on a very odd situation because... Obviously, you're going to get all the, all the uh, team members together, including a new... Uh, one to make all six. So judging this by itself is a little unfair. But I gotta admit that just if you just wanted a Grimlock or you just collect Grimlocks, this is gonna be a, either a disappointment or an extreme oddity. Again, it's great that they'll be doing a Dino King in the future, but it's, it's weird that they had to use the Dinobots as the test run for this. If you... Now, uh, I only got this figure because of a supreme case of luck. When it comes out later, you're probably going to want to make your own judgment as to whether or not you're going to want it. If you're just getting the figure by itself, you might not be into it. If you're doing the combiner thing, you're probably going to have it in e in combined mode any other way. If you're doing the whole team as just a set, well, <laughs> it's gonna look odd. But it is at least, does at least hold together properly. And for what it is, it does it well. Which is be a transformer that becomes a robot and a combiner limb at core class. If a little weirdly. Anyway, I am the Stutz Wolf. This has been Legacy Evolution Core Class Grimlock. And again, I remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.